Good day, guys. Uh, we shall be concluding our topic on nervous system today. And uh, I would like to look at this topic, nerve cells. Nerve cells. Or we call it nerve cells or neurons. What are neurons or what are nerve cells? We have defined cell as a basic unit of life. Okay? We say cell is a basic structural or functional unit of life. At the same time, I want to let you know that nerve cells are basic unit of nervous system. Okay? They are the basic structural and functional unit of nervous system. Okay? Uh, today, we shall be looking at number one. We want to explain the classification of neuron with functions. Okay? We want to look at the types of nerve cells that we have with examples and they as well as at their function. Then number three, we want to tabulate the differences between sensory, relay, and motor neurons. Okay? Like we have said sometimes that sensory neurons are also called afferent neurons. They are also called afferent neurons. Whereas relay neurons are also called associate, intermediate, or interminence. We are still saying the same thing. Then uh, motor neurons are called efferent neurons. Efferent neurons. Quickly, let me say this to you. That a sensory neuron conducts messages from receptor towards central nervous system. Whereas relay neurons are found basically within central nervous system. Whereas motor neurons take messages away from central nervous system to effect us where actions are, are produced. Okay? Then we want to highlight the effects of sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Like we said, sympathetic is all about stress. Okay? When there is anger in your heart, when you are not okay, when you are under stress, nervous system that is in place at that time, we refer to them as sympathetic. Whereas parasympathetic is that condition that brings you back to normal after you have been stretched up. So the nervous system in charge of normalcy of our action after stress or after anger is called parasympathetic. We want to look at the differences between them and their effects. Then I want to highlight the functions of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, like I mentioned earlier, and then to bring it to a close with you for this introduction. I want to look at types of neurons. Basically, we have three major types, like I said. One, we have what is called intermediate neuron, which is called relay neuron. You can see in this neuron, there is no melee sheet, no node of round vein. That is why they are found basically inside the central nervous system. I want to ask you a question. Why do you think there is no melin sheet in this kind of neuron? It's just because they need to fully integrate, interpret, and bring response to every of our actions. There's no need to jump actions. Then number two, we have motor neurons. We have motor neurons. In motor neurons, we are saying this one conducts messages from central nervous system to the effectors. Whereas the last one we have the sensory neurons, this one carry messages from receptor like our skin, like our eye, like our nose, all those organs that are receptor in nature, they take messages from them to the central nervous system. In this class today, we are going to look at more of this in Google Classroom. I will consider the functions of this neuron, the differences between them, their location in our body system. And I saw, as we go on, I want to pray that God will bless you. Stay calm. Let's learn together and prepare for success. Thank you very much.